fundamentally, it is tough to go out and build a very capital intensive business, right? You know, it requires a lot of everything, a lot of people, a lot of money, a lot of different types of expertise, you know, a lot of parties at the table. You know, it, we're strong believers that you know, in doing that creates a much larger opportunity as well, and that's what gets us excited. But um, you know, I always urge people to really think about, if you're gonna go start a company, really think about what you want your life to be like the next five years. You know, is it more important for you to, you know, to have, you know, be with your social circle, kind of working in an environment that you completely control, but might be a, you know, might be a much smaller idea? Or are you really excited by you know, going after the big swing, the big idea, even if there's going to be other things that come along with that you know, that you're going to have to grow up and get used to? And you know, for us, that go, the opportunity, that once in a lifetime opportunity, you know, that people, we've been fortunate enough that people have given us to go out there and really try and do something big was, um, was well worth it. I'll just throw one additional piece on that that I like to tell people, which is, the sort of numerical concept of, of controlling interest is in a lot of ways a fallacy because as soon as you bring on outside, <clears throat> outside investors, it doesn't matter if you're you know, somehow able to do it and only sold them 2% of the company, you now have outside investors and you no longer have a, a complete controlling interest. You have to be working around the table and figuring out ways to you know, bring everybody's opinions and decisions to bear. Mm -hmm.